Hey everyone, it's me again and welcome to Faith's Feels. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube sometimes and you should subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of this riveting action. So riveting. There's a groundhog in the yard and my cat is just taken by him. You see him? See that fat little groundhog? You're a fat little groundhog. What you've stumbled across is Faith's Feels, which is my feels on a makeup product or on life in general. And if you've read the title of this video, you're probably pretty confused. I know what you're thinking. Wait, didn't we just do this? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. This is my coworker picks my hair color, part two. <laughs> um, what had happened was, uh, we did the hair color, as you guys saw in last week's video. It was amazing, I loved it. And then it started growing out. Now this is my own fault. I didn't cut my hair before I got it colored. So it was already pretty long to begin with. And it got to just an unmanageable length that I absolutely hated. And um, when my natural hair started growing out, um, my natural hair is really, really cool toned. It's like really, really taupe. It's a very, very gray blonde. So when it started growing out, it made my scalp look dirty because of the dark root mixed with the warmer, blonder tones in my hair. So as much as I loved the job that Rebecca did, and really I did love it, um, we had to cut most of it off. There's still a little bit of pink left in the back, but we did have to cut most of it off because it just grew out so incredibly fast and it looked really bad when it started growing out. So uh, today I am getting my hair colored yet again, this time by Keisha. Keisha is a master stylist, which is the second of the three tiers of ranking, but she's about to be promoted to elite. She just passed everything that she needed to pass to promote to elite. It's just she hasn't officially promoted yet. So she's a master, she's about to be an elite. She's the second highest ranking uh, salon hair designer in the salon that I work in. And um, she, I pretty much, honestly, this was an in availability thing because she is constantly booked, constantly. Like I could, you know, no one can get an appointment in with her because everyone who has followed her for a long time loves her. She has a lot of really, really loyal clients. So it was nearly impossible to get booked with her. Not to mention she and I have literally the exact same schedule. We, so there's absolutely no way we were ever gonna be able to make this happen um, because in order to receive services, I have to be off the clock. So obviously I can't get paid while I'm getting services. So uh, this happened via pure unadulterated serendipity. So. I, you know, we were over on hours this week and my hours ended up getting cut. And um, that basically means that I didn't have any clients coming in. So uh, she adjusted my schedule. So I have fewer hours this week. And today I just so happened to have no clients scheduled at all, which almost never happens. I think that's happened one other time in the entirety of the time that I've been working at Ulta. There's been one other time that I've had no clients at all. And she was like, all right, well, you know, you're not, you don't have any clients, so you have a couple options here. You can either uh, work for a couple hours and try to drum up some clients, or we can just take you off the schedule for that day and you'll have the day off. As it so happens, uh, Keisha, it's literally been so dead this week that Keisha even had openings. And I was like, Keisha, this is probably the only time we will ever have to do this do you want to do my hair? And she said, uh, yes, absolutely. So it was pure luck that we just so happened to, you know, the universe worked in its mysterious way. And now I'm going to get my hair done by her. Uh, preface, I extracted a pimple today, so pardon the redness. And then my lips are hopelessly dry as always. But my appointment's at 10 and it's 9.06. So I really need to get on the road here pretty soon. I, again, if you haven't seen the pa the video last week, go ahead and watch it. But the long and the short of it is Keisha, my coworker, my work wife, that's my boo. She and I look out for each other at work and we're very, very good friends now. Um, 
she is going to be picking my hair color. I am not allowed to see anything until it's done. I'm not allowed to know anything until it's done. So I do not know what this is gonna look like uh, and I won't know until it's done. Goal is to eventually have every hair designer that works at my store color my hair at least once, but I will not be able to um, film any of it because Ulta has very strict policies about filming in their stores. So I have to adhere to those policies. I can't film in there, but you guys, the next time you see me, I will have a different hair color. You can still kind of see a faint hint of pink at the back, but we did cut most of it off. See you guys when I have new hair. Ready? And here it is. Let me wait for my camera to focus, but here we are. We have arrived and we're blue and orange this time. I really didn't know what to expect going into this because I knew um, Keisha was my girl and she had a couple of ideas that she was kicking around in her head. And I thought I heard her mention pink when she was talking about what she was gonna do. And as much as I adored the pink that I had on my head from Rebecca doing my hair, my boss, um, I really didn't wanna do pink again because it was like, you know, change things up a little bit. So I was not expecting her to go blue and orange. I really wasn't. But this is what we have now. It's striped, which is awesome. So edgy, so different. Um, it is a little more transparent than my first color was because the colors that she put in my hair were deeper and set off against my nude colored scalp. Um, it looks a little bit less saturated, but it is fully saturated. Believe me, I was in the in the barber's chair for a while today, but I'm really, really happy with it, honestly. Uh, I wasn't sure about it when it first came out because it's so dark. Um, I'm used to people going a little bit lighter on my hair because I do look really good with light hair, but this is so cool. Like, I love the fact that it's striped and that it's different on either side. So I literally look like I have a different hair color depending on how I turn my head. And I'll show you guys the back. If you can see that, there's the back right here. Yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with how everything came out to be honest. This is what's going to be on my head for at least a little while. Now I can't honestly say how long it's going to be on my head. I'm very, very happy with the way this came out. I think it looks awesome. I think it's really, really edgy and badass. And so thank you so much to Keisha for helping me out and for uh, humoring me in this little experiment. Although to be honest, she was just as excited about doing this as I was <laughs> to have it done. So I'll leave her Instagram down in the comments below. Be sure to check her out and give her a follow if you would please. But in the meantime, I hope you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt, you know it deserves it. And if you wanna see more from me, you've got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out or hey. You can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today i put out new videos every sunday thank you guys so so much for watching and joining me today and i will see you in the next video toodles